Hey there, hey there world travelers, and good morning, Austin, Austin Texas. Texas. So today we actually started this day bright and early, and it was gonna be a really gorgeous day, as it is here in Austin, Texas, on this Sunday. And we went to a really cool breakfast spot called Phoebe's Diner. Yes, Phoebe's Diner, it was started by its chef owner uh, two years ago, named it after his daughter, right? Right yeah. before she was born? Yeah, she was actually, it was three months before Phoebe was born, uh, the diner actually opened and it's named after her. I thought that was really cute right. and so cute. And he was actually there yeah, in he was the working kitchen. Hard sweating with the cooks just getting his cook on yeah it's great to see him working hard and i tell you the food really shows it the food's great it's not your typical diner fare it's just really good food really yeah good i had this it was amazing it was like a chorizo bowl and apparently the chorizo is all in-house made there and it had like this nice egg on top and all these different flavors it was a little spicy i really didn't enjoy that and went right with my coffee um but uh, it was great. Overall, it was really tasty and a great portion size. I'm sorry, there's like a plane overhead to zoom in. <laughs> but it was great. The portion size were perfect. Exactly. I had the uh, badass bacon and <laughs> eggs. And it was badass. The badass uh, bacon was awesome. It was a badass Perfectly mofo. smoked. Very Austin worthy, I would say. Just a really good breakfast all around. The one thing I will I will say this. If you're in Austin and you go to some really cool spots like that, you need to make sure you get there early. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we got there around 9 o'clock, so not super super early, right. but early enough. You get there at 10, 11 o'clock, you're going to be Waiting. Yeah, you we're will. Waiting, no if doubt. you're planning on having breakfast at 10 and going there, just plan on it being around noon time, almost like you're having lunch. Right, so exactly. get there early for sure. We decided we're going to come out and do a little outdoorsy things. We're in the green belt right now, and the green belt is unbelievable. So pretty. It's so, so pretty. pretty. The weather's crisp and clean. It's got some really cool swimming holes. Maybe check out a few places in Austin uh, that are. Obviously, yeah, the shirt Game of Thrones Day. Game of Thrones Day. And you're probably going to see this after, obviously, the first episode of Game of Thrones. But there's some cool spots around here that are what they're like parties for Game of Thrones. Exactly. Right? It's so like Game like of Thrones parties. watch parties. So yeah, I'm so check it out, have a drink or two, <laughs> have some fun. So we're here at Sculpture Falls in the Greenbelt. We've hiked about two miles in, and it is so beautiful here. Just a wonderful spot. People are enjoying the water. You know, they call it a secret swimming hole, but I gotta tell you, it's not too secret. There's a lot of people here, but it's really nice, and just people are having fun. So you can hear the music, uh, people jumping and splashing, dogs and kids. It's a great place. Wow, I don't know what kind of fish these are, but there's so many. Dave squatted out these fish, and look at it. It's like a family of, we think, sucker fish. <laughs> I call them but there's like a whole family look at that just circling and floating just waiting for something maybe they're just basking in the sun enjoying the day like us exactly. <laughs> you gotta be careful it's really slippery And also, the green belt expands about seven miles. So if you know anything about Texas, it can get really hot here. So as you can see behind me as well, there are folks swimming in these pools. And there's tons of them all along the seven mile trek up the green belt. You'll find these cute and fun little swimming holes that you can kind of find, and make your own, just sit out, have lunch. It's a really great spot to come to here in Austin, Texas. If you come to Austin, you gotta check out the green belt. It's really great for hiking. You find a lot of folks biking. It's pet friendly and it's just a place you need to come to.
kidding me? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. David, you gotta try it. Come on. Gotta try it. Oh yeah. Give it to the fans. You gotta get this in the right out. Here we go. <laughs> All right. You need some training. I think Maybe you need. Training, I, yeah. I, I, I think you need Aria to kind of scoop you out exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> no. Wow, so that was a really fun time at the uh, the North Door. And how awesome. And <laughs> kind of funny that they named the North Door. And they're kind of hosting a Game of Thrones watch party. Where they're doing a recap of Game of Thrones. What was really cool is right inside the same venue. But inside next door, I guess you could say, was a cool restaurant that had some amazing salsa. What was the name of it? Uh, Pueblo Viejo. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he's getting good. That's right. That's pretty cool. What was interesting was there was one guy who had a Jon Snow sword. Yeah, he was hardcore. He was, he was hardcore. Not only, not only sword, but he was dressed to the hilt. Yes, that's he was ready for battle. He was dressed he was like Jon Snow. Battle. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I thought I was gonna lose my head. <laughs> And the sword, we were like, wow, it's really interesting. We thought he got it from like Toys R Us or some yeah, like exactly. toy shop. But no, he actually made the sword out of a piece of two by four. Yeah, exactly, he whittled it. He just like whittled this two by four, <laughs> whittle, whittle, whittle. Unbelievable. So and it John turned into a sword. <laughs> Who would have thought? So John Snow, if you're paying attention to this, you need to hire that guy. He's exactly. a great swordsman. And really quick, by the way, we're really hardcore uh, Game of Throners. Even to the point where we named our Tesla after Game of Thrones. What do you think we named our car? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with the color white. All right, that's all you're getting right now. We'll give you the answer at the end of this video. We're actually on our way right now to kind of wrap up the day before the kickoff to the last and finale season of Game of Thrones tonight. We're heading to Mount Benel to catch a really cool sunset, um, which is the other place we talked about. If you guys watch one of our earlier videos where we caught the sunset over at the Oasis, this is one of the best spots to catch a sunset in Austin. Okay, so we quickly changed. That's hence why we're in a different gear. We had a chance to freshen up after that awesome hike. And we're headed to Malpin now. Now we're leaving a little bit later um, than we would have liked because <laughs> we were quite, kind of relaxing a bit. Right. But we're gonna try and capture some of those incredible views over there right now on Mount Benel. A helicopter flight going on. 
Maybe next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for that. Hey, so we actually made it to Mount Bonnell and we actually got really good seats. So I was excited about that. Oh, it was a beautiful night, beautiful sunset. We had a great day. Yeah. yeah it was all, all worked out really well. Yeah, and actually David did find out some really cool things about Mount Bonnell. Yeah, the place was called Antoinette's Leap. Why was it called that? Do you remember? <laughs> of course, because she uh, apparently leaped off of Mount Bonnell to avoid being captured by the Native Americans who... <laughs> yeah, the legend has it that the Native Americans yes. apparently killed her, her fiance. fiance. So she leaped off Mount Bonnell to avoid being captured. Yeah. You know, in this romantic death. <laughs> which, you know, it's probably not true at all, but hey, it's a pretty cool it's a and pretty mysterious cool story. story. And you know what? That's something I would totally do. You're not taking my ass anywhere. I'm going That's right. right over into Fully expect that. Just leap off. <laughs> leap. <Hey. laughs> so, remember that question we posed to you guys earlier about what was the name of our car? Well, if you guessed it, you're awesome. Our car's name is White, White Walker. Walker. I know, I know. It's a little dark, a little mysterious, but that is kind of what makes it so cool. It's White Walker. So if you guessed it, thumbs up. And thumbs if you up. didn't guess it, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really quick, before we let you go, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Scroll over, hit that symbol that looks like a bell so that you get a ping every time we post something new and exciting. As always, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate that. And we look forward to seeing you on the road. <laughs>